Good morning, Comstock High School. Today is Friday, January 18th, and this is Angel and Herman bringing you today's announcement. For today's lunches, there will be the choice of basil, tofu, mushroom, and cheese, red bread pizza, mini turkey, corn dogs, daily turkey, and fajita style chicken. SAT word of the week is perseverate, a verb meaning to repeat or prolong an action, thought or utterance after the stimulus that prompted it has ceased. Example. Volatility led industry analysts to perseverate on production updates that overshadowed the numbers. Now down to weather. Hey Comstock, I'm Angel and I'm here with Samantha and Harry. And we're bringing you today's weather. It's going to be a high of 30. A low of 18. And a 20% chance of snow, so make sure you bring your coats. Back to you guys. Thanks guys. Student government would like to announce snow coming 2019. The theme this year is Disney. <laughs> the festivities will kick off on Thursday, January 24th with the Powerpuff Volleyball game. This will take place right after the last exam that morning. A late bus will be provided for those staying, up, staying for the game. The week of January 28th will be the dress-up day. Stay tuned for more information on the theme days for that week. Student government is implementing princes and princesses for freshmen, sophomores and juniors along with king and queen seniors. There will be a prince and princess for each grade. The top two people that are nominated from each class will become the prince and princess. The nominations are over and the final voting dates for king and queen will be January 28th and 29th, which will also be on a Google form in your email. Key Club is looking for all t-shirt donations so we can make dog and cat toys for the local animal shelter. Please see Ms. Adams or Emily Hainer for more details. Let's head on over to today's day in history. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hey, V. Hey, Jistrell. What happened in history? Today in history, in 1644, it was the first reported sighting of a UFO by a bunch of pilgrims, and they were probably drunk, because you know those drunken pilgrims always, oh. So, yeah, first what? reported UFO sighting. What else sighting. happened today? Oh, today's my birthday. Yay! Yay! Thanks, guys. Seniors, here's the lips of senior dates. Lip sync planning meeting after school on January 22nd, half day. It should only take 15 to 20 minutes. If you want to be involved, then please attend. Senior Oscar night is April 13th. It's approaching pretty quickly. We will start by holding auditions for anyone that has a talent that they would like to share. If you are interested, please see Ms. Gruder, Ms. Adams, or Ms. Polson. Tryouts will be held on February 13th and 14th in the band room, starting at 2.30 p.m. All grade levels can participate in the talent portion of Senior Oscar night. Any senior that is interested in hosting the 2019 Senior Oscar Night, please see Ms. Gruder or Ms. Adams. Seniors, senior and baby pictures are due no later than Wednesday, March 6th. If you want to be in the senior video, as of now, yearbook only has six senior and baby pics. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Gruder and don't forget to buy your yearbook. Seniors, if you have not ordered your cap and gown, please see Ms. Gruder as soon as possible. Let's head on over to the German word of the day. Good morning, Comstock High School. Here's Tillman with the German word of the day. Guten Morgen, Comstock. Here is Tillman with eurem heutigen deutschen Wort des Tages. And I know all of you are waiting. Very excited for the solution. I had a few good guesses. I had one right guess. I'm very thankful for everyone who tried his best. I know it was not easy and not easy to Google. Uh, here I have it, the Kuddelmuddel. That's how we spell it, and it's an unstructured mess. If someone made a really big mess, we say, oh, you made a really big kuddelmuddel. It's a um, more slang word, so that's why I've chosen it not easily to Google. But I have a new one for you, you can guess. And today I'm very kind. I wrote it on the plate for you. It's niemand kann uns das Wasser reichen. And I'm even more kind. I translate it for you into English. No one can reach us the water, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. So what you can guess um, today is what does that really mean? That's a um, saying we have. What does that saying mean? Niemand kann uns das Wasser reichen. I'm very um, excited what you will guess today. And um, for your guesses, just go to the German word Instagram account at germanword.comstock and um, see some latest German words or guess with a direct message or text my school email via 
P-I-L-M at comstockps.org. Back to you. Thanks, guys. Attention, juniors. Please give your favorite memory to either Terrence Richardson or Haley Steiger. Juniors, this week is the SAT Praxis kickoff. Juniors, over the next few months, make sure to utilize the SAT Praxis resources that are available for free to you to make sure you're ready for the SAT. The SAT is one of the best ways to earn scholarship, so make sure you take the following steps to prepare. Log in to your College Board account. If you don't have one, then make one. It's pretty simple. Create a Khan Academy account, link your PSAT or past SAT scores from College Board to Khan Academy, then practice on your individualized SAT practice plan. Visit khanacademy.org slash SAT. For more details, if you need any help, see Mr. Cotter or Ms. Dudley. All Green is offering an exciting opportunity for employment. $10 per hour, Monday to Thursday shifts. Door-to-door -door lead generators will be trained in sales and proper work etiquette, given materials to educate potential customers on all green services and transport it safely to and from the location. Employees will learn valuable skills that translate to future job opportunities. If interested, email allgreenlc2019 at gmail.com. Hourly is $10 an hour. Hours per week averages about 16 to 20. Work hours is 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Work days are Monday through Thursday, and the start date would be February 5th. After uh, school, reminder, the cafe will be open from 2.30 to 3 o'clock to purchase a variety of sandwiches for $1.50, and many a la carte items that are priced as they are during lunch. This is an effort to assist students who stay after school for athletic practices and games, as well as those who stay for clubs. Student government will begin selling spirit shirts the week of snow coming. The cost will be $8. They will be sold during both lunches, or you can buy one from Ms. Bolson in room 202 anytime during the day. Please sign up in the office or during either lunch if you would like to ride on the buses provided after the Powerpuff game on Thursday, January 24th. The buses will be here at 12 p.m. The last day to sign up is Tuesday, January 22nd. A reminder that the final voting dates for Snowcoming King and Queen will be January 28th and the 29th and will be on a Google form you receive in your day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Hey everyone. For people who don't know me, I'm Lou. I'm from Armenia and I was an exchange student in Kamsak last year. Well, I had this idea, I'm really thankful because this means a lot for me. It's really exciting and I really hope that after watching this, you all are gonna think about me, go back for a second, remember all our memories together and I hope it makes you smile. In my room, I have a lot of things that remind me of America, of Comstock and it's been a long time since I've been back, but there hasn't been a day I didn't feel homesick. I'm back here in my country, but a part of my heart and my soul is still back there in Comstock. And even if I try my best, I can never be complete because a part of me is missing. I would love to talk more, but I don't think I can make this video any longer. I just really hope you guys are doing good and I want you to know that you're really lucky that you go to Comstock and live in USA and I'm just a little bit jealous of you because I just miss everything. I miss playing sports, I miss being with my friends, I miss my family, I miss some of the cool teachers. But guess what I miss the most? Of course it, American food. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, I love you guys a lot and hope to see you soon. Also, thanks for handling my ugly accent the whole time. Bye bye. Hello, wonderful people of Comstock High School. As you have heard, EFE and EFA applications are open and they are all due by February 15th. EFE, Education for Employment, EFA, Education for the Arts are awesome programs that are held both here at Comstock High School and around the entire county. My good friend Bobby here was actually the first student from Comstock to turn in his EFE application. Bobby, what program are you interested in? Construction Trade. Nice, the Construction Trades program. And why are you interested in that? 
Because when I get older, I want to be an architect. An architect, awesome. So are you hoping that this might give you some good work experience um, within that field? Awesome, very cool. Well, if Bobby is accepted to the program, he will actually be working uh, on building a house from the ground up um, in partnership with Habitat for Humanity. That's just within the construction trades program. Each program has really awesome and unique opportunities. So if you're interested in applying, applying for one of the many programs, come on down to my office today. Applications are due February 15th. Thanks a lot, Bobby. Thank you. If you have any news that needs to be sent out, please contact any of us here at the WBNC or email us at wbnc at comstarps.org. This has been Angel. And Tillman. On the WBNC, the white and blue news crew. See, see you, see you later. later. Okay, I'm confused.